talking today to Michael Agwu, who is the CEO of Eroking. Michael, um, it's big news for you today, isn't it? Because you've just hit a major milestone. Yeah. How many registered users have you got to? Got to 100,000. Okay. Yeah. And in how long has that taken you to get to? It's taking us um, about six months to get there. Okay. Yeah. So this time next year, where do you think you'll be in terms of numbers of users? Well, you know, we've been able to build up massive traction um, in the period we've been actually putting out content via iRocking.com. So I'd definitely say, you know what, I'm looking at a million users, definitely. That's okay. I'm looking at, yeah. An ambitious man. Well, you have to be ambitious, yeah, yeah, definitely. And if we looked forward three years, how many users do you think you would have by then? I'd say 10 million. 10 million. million. And out of, out of Africa, how many do you think those, those would be? I'd say seven. Okay. Yeah. And in terms of the content you've got, you've got basically two platforms, haven't you? You've got YouTube and iTunes. Yeah. Explain yeah. to us how iTunes works, because YouTube is fairly easy to understand. Yeah, yeah, YouTube is fair, fairly obvious. Now, with iTunes, um, it's, it's more of a publishing platform. So um, when we start talking about um, digital downloads, um, the largest publishing platform in the world is going to be iTunes. Yeah. So we felt it's important to partner with iTunes the same way we partner with YouTube. To obviously get our artists' content onto iTunes, um, there's been a lot, a big gap mm. in terms of artists putting their content on iTunes. Generally speaking, they'd have to, you know, partner with maybe someone in the UK, someone mm. in the US. There was no kind of local provider mm. for them, so we felt we filled that gap. Yeah. Um, you know, literally speaking, you can come to our office, you know, see how your iTunes downloads mm. are going. You know, it's it's just something. You know, we believe we're a digital partner to the industry. Yeah. So it was just another way to say, look, as in, like, just partner with us, um, and we'll actually just take care of all your digital needs, so audio, video, publishing, everything. And in fact, artists like Flavor, all their content was already on iTunes, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. In like, we had a number of artists uh, when we first started um, who we held meetings with, and we found that you know, a lot of artists' content was being put on iTunes. Mm. Um, it was on there um, some as far back as 2008, 2009. And you'd hear that, you know, you know, they'd say stuff like, oh, Mike, you know, I've never, I've never received a royalty payment mm. from iTunes. But, you know, they'd literally have printouts of, like, look, as in, like, see this, mm. and, like, look at my album that came out mm. last October, mm. and it's got up on iTunes. And we were like, okay, well, you know, we, we saw the, the, the issues we had on YouTube in terms of copyright infringement. Mm. It's, it's sometimes it's, it's on purpose, mm. and sometimes it's not on purpose. It could just be a user uploaded type of content. Mm. But we found on iTunes it was generally people putting up there and trying to make a fast buck. Yeah. Um, so we went through a process over like the last four months or so where we actually just started approaching all these platforms, not just iTunes, but Amazon, Spotify, mm. Deezer, um, to obviously get content taken down that yeah. we felt was infringing on our clients' rights. So following that process um, and then, you know, once finalized with iTunes and, you know, Amazon, we started republishing content mm. there. And we've actually seen a lot of traction on digital downloads for our artists. So mm. we can actually tell our artists that, look, fair enough, you, you know, we, you know, a lot of that that's happened before is gone, mm. um, but what we can obviously do is look forward and this is what's happening now. You know, we've seen this amount of downloads on a daily basis, on a weekly basis. And we're talking about thousands of downloads, mm. you know, it, I mean, literally in the space of, you know, for weeks now. Mm. Um, so obviously it's one of those things where as our presence grows on iTunes mm. and as we, you know, push out the fact we get our mm. access to this content, we're going to see huge traction on there, we believe. And this professionalization of the music industry in, in Africa, yeah. represented by the kind of things you're doing, has opportunities two ways, doesn't it? You were talking earlier about artists now being in conversation with major labels. Give, yeah. give me the example you were giving earlier. Okay, now, obviously we've had our, some of our biggest artists, you know, talking with guys at Universal. Um, mm. We've had... Um, That's P-Square. So P-Square, yeah, yeah. I've been having conversations with them, with Universal. Um, Soul Candy out of South Africa, they've you know, they're doing distribution for flavor. Mm. Um, so, you know, we've seen a lot of, you know, a, a lot of the interest coming in. Mm. Um, you know, they see- So some the of the artists, artists will become global- Definitely. Out of this. Definitely, you know, it's like we have artists doing huge collaborations with French artists like Fali mm. Pupa. Mm. And so we see a lot of traction in that francophony type of market. Mm. But obviously distribution is always the issue. So mm. we step in and now fill that gap. Yeah. But coming the other way, what about international stuff from, say, the States or the UK or elsewhere? Music there coming this way? Definitely. is and like if you, you know, if you're in Nigeria long enough, you know, you'll always hear, you know, a Jay-Z track or a Kanye West track yeah. blaring from someone's car speaker, sure. you know, from someone's, someone's phone. And, but realistically, all this content is not paid for. Mm. Um, just because, obviously, you know, you have all these huge platforms that have generally avoided Africa as a continent, mm. you know, not because they don't want to be here, but because of the difficulty in actually mm. saying, okay, how do we do business in Africa? 
So what we obviously believe is that setting up what we've set up is, you know, we're almost like a corporate face. Mm. So, you know, international labels wanted to come into Nigeria, come into mm. West Africa and Africa in general, they can now actually talk to us, yeah. partner with us and say, look, you guys have these platforms on ground, yeah. you have the local expertise, yeah. you know, how can we put up, push our content to this market mm. and obviously, you know, monetize it? Because, yeah. I mean, that's the key. They're not putting it yeah. out there for free. No, indeed. You know, so obviously, our foot, you know, we're, we're all about monetizing content. Yeah. We're all about, you know, Artists and licensing, have this content. Content. Yeah, licensing content, yeah. Honestly, you know, is it like because artists have this fantastic content they've put out there, mm. and it's missed so much value for so long. Mm. We've come and said, look, and it can't go on like this, and mm. we've been hugely successful in that. Mm. I mean, literally, you know, we've we've put hundreds of thousands of dollars back into the industry. Yeah, you know, it's 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 been fantastic for us. It's been fantastic mm. for them. You know, a lot of artists are very happy with what we've done because we've literally created something out of nothing. Mm. And how much have you paid out to artists? In the last, say in the last 10 months, we, we've easily paid out at least three quarters of a million dollars. Um, it's, it's cash going to artists. We're talking, mm. it's, a, it's a huge industry. Mm. Um, obviously you have large artists, you have mm. small artists, you have up and coming artists. Yeah. You know, you have large labels, you have one man labels. You mm. know, we're talking about remitting that to the, to the gamut of all these players. All those, uh, yeah. those artists, yeah. yeah. Michael, thanks for talking to me today. No props.